Hey guys, Alex here from alexfergus.com. Now, uh, I've just seen the news that there's a new aura ring out. Well, been announced, it's not quite shipping yet. But I wanted to um, quickly shoot a reaction video and, and go through and um, see what the new ring's all about and what features are included. Uh, I'm actually shooting this from my phone, which I haven't done before, so it is very off the cuff and uh, rushed in a sense, but I do, I do want to get this out so you can all hear about the news and see my uh, reaction. So, for those of you that have followed my stuff for a while, you'll know that I've been a big fan of the Aura Ring. I've been using it from day dot when the first gen came out, I think it was Indiegogo. Uh, I've been using the second gen ring for a couple of years now and I recently just did a little update video on that, on my, on why I'm still using it. So uh, yeah, pretty excited to see what this new ring's all about. So if you haven't already, you can head over to AuraRing.com and see the announcement and the new features. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull this up on my screen and um, run through my thoughts. Okay, so when you head over to oring.com, you're automatically redirected to the slash pre-order page. Uh, so first up, you see that it's shipping in a couple of weeks time. So that's awesome. So you can place the order now. Should be here in time for Christmas, which is cool. Um, so I was a little bit surprised by this announcement. I, I um, saw an email a few days ago saying there's something big happening. I was like, oh, that's going to be interesting. And then very randomly last night, I had a dream, like, because I knew it would be uh, during the night New Zealand time. I had this random dream that they announced, like, a, a wristwatch with a screen that um, synced with the, the Aura Ring. So you could see all the data in real time. Um, and it had a few sensors on it as well. That was my, my weird dream. And I woke up this morning, I was like, man, if that's what they've announced, it's going to be so crazy. But I was not even close. So it is a new ring, uh, the third generation ring. Based on the photo I see here, it looks identical to the second one, though I wonder if it's a slightly, oh, it's too hard to say, I'll have to wait till it arrives. I wouldn't be surprised if they've kept the same form factor, I mean, it would save them a lot of headaches, right? And the, the current one, the second gen ring, is, is pretty uh, slim, slim line, especially compared to the first. So, let's have a look at um, what new features are in, uh, in this new ring, and um, I'll go through my initial reaction reactions and thoughts. So we've got 24 seven heart rate monitoring, personalized health insights, sleep analysis, and so much more. So the big big change there is the 24 seven heart rate monitoring. Uh, we'll get to this soon. Three daily scores to guide you. So this is all standard stuff. We're already used to seeing this. Uh, the 24 seven heart rate monitoring is a, is a big one though, because typically, well, previously with the first and second gen ring, you could only see your heart rate at night or at complete rest. So they introduced that new, uh, what was it called, meditation moments feature where you, where you could relax and take your heart rate and HRV. And I, I did, uh, so I've been speaking to the guys from Aura for many years now. I've, I've been over to the office in um, Finland. Uh, and I remember they, them saying, when I asked them, why couldn't you do 24-7 heart rate monitoring? They said, due to the technology and the sensors and the limitations, you had to be at rest or you had to be still um, to get that heart rate. So obviously they've figured out how to solve that and uh, incorporated that into the new ring, which is awesome. So let's go through these new features. So we've got 24 seven heart rate monitoring. All right, open that up. So, I mean, yeah, it's gonna be awesome for people that wanna track their heart rate through the day and see what's going on with stress and exercise. Uh, it has been a big limitation of the Aura Ring. I know for many people they've been like, oh, why can't you see your heart rate? So that is gonna be very, very cool. Uh, so learn how, your body responds to daily habits and choices. Um, yeah, I mean, it, it just opens up a lot more uh, information and opportunities for biohackers like myself. So we can see a screenshot here of someone um, that's been on a run. Uh, it's interesting how it's got the graph, sorry, the map incorporated on the screen and, into the app there. I wonder if there'll be like GPS tracking or, uh, no, nah, it, it won't be in the ring. They would have announced that. It must be um, tap into like a, another app, but you can see your average heart rate through the run there. So that's pretty cool. Um, coming in late 2021, uh, which is now, I guess, uh, workout heart rate, record your heart rate during workouts and receive post-exercise insights to see how your physical activity affects your aura scores and holistic health. So yeah, that's going to be really cool because, um, a lot of these, uh, heart rate wearables, uh, heart rate monitors like Garmin, uh, Suno Sunto, I hope that's how you pronounce it, Polar, uh, you know, that obviously that's that's what they've focused on for, for many, many years. Uh, back when I was rowing at a reasonably high level, you know, I used to use the the um, EPOC function, uh, exercise post oxygen consumption, I think it was, and that would give you, you know, insights as to what was going on with your body and also how intense you push yourself. So I wonder if they're going to tap into some things like that because it said receive post-exercise insights. Um, you know, it'd be interesting, maybe not, but um, 
Anyway, just the fact that you'll be able to see the heart rate uh, during a workout is, is going to be really cool. Recognize when your body and mind is relaxing, helping you know if you take enough breaks. <laughs> That's interesting. One thing I personally don't really value much is the meditation side of things and, and that of the aura ring. It's just something that's not really my area. Um, so I've never, even the moments meditation feature, I've never really used. All right, what else we got? Introducing seven temperature sensors. Seven. It's uh, crazy that they get seven sensors into a little ring. And also you wonder, what, why do they need seven? Why not just get one really good one? But anyway, I'm sure there's reasonings behind that. And maybe I'll have to reach out to Aura and see if we can get a um, Q&A or an interview going and I can pick their brains on some of these things. But Apparently, this will make uh, the data a lot more accurate because Aura Ring has tracked temperature, but it's never really been a big feature uh, of the app. I know when they introduced it many years ago, it was like, wow, this is cool, but it was kind of like always on the side. It wasn't a big feature of the app. Um, and you do see trends, and I know once I got a fever, uh, I got a fever, and it's like, wow, you see the big spike in that, but it wasn't really that useful. Um, so it's going to be interesting to see what this new function adds, uh, if it changes much in the app. And if they're incorporating the information like more as a, a main focus of the app. Temperature adapts and responds, advanced machine learning. Yeah, so it's already doing some of this stuff. Automatic activity detection. And I know it's automatically doing this. I think, like I opened my app and it said, did you do a workout yesterday and stuff? It's not always correct. Sometimes it was just um, me on the farm or something. But it's obviously picking some activity there. Uh, automatically detects over 30 different activities. Yeah, that's crazy. Uh, I like though how it's got nap detection because uh, that's one thing like I personally have a lot of naps these days um, just being with a young young children and that sometimes you don't have the best sleep so you do a catch up during the day and I know that just throws out my um, sleep score and stuff and readiness so much because it's like hey you only got six hours sleep last night that's not good and I'm like yeah but I also got an hour nap so and then it said it will be impacting your sleep and readiness score good good to see rest mode guided audio sessions videos and more yeah, I'm going to skip through this, but some people might find that interesting. Um, instant feedback. Receive health insights and body measurements after each audio session. Oh, yeah, that's cool. Bedtime tips. I right, learn. Learn with Aura. be interesting to see how much emphasis they put into that. It's one thing I've always wished Aura did more. Like, hey, we've found that, you know, when you sleep, when you go to sleep before 10 o'clock, you get, you know, 30% more deep sleep. Or, hey, we found that, your highest readiness day is on a Sunday. You know, why is that type of thing? That'd be cool. Um, sleep analysis perfected coming in 2022. A sleep lab wrapped around your finger. So I'm not too sure why that's coming later. Is it software? Obviously, it's not a hardware change. Um, maybe it's just more accuracy. I, I'm not too sure. Accuracy above all. Uh, State-of-the-art sleep stage and algorithm. So they must still be perfecting the algorithm. And I know that is always an issue with Aura Ring. Some people are like, ah, oh, it's not, it didn't really line up that well with my sleep. So it'll be interesting to see how much that's improved. Um, well, the new Aura Ring senses your blood oxygen levels while you sleep, giving you a more accurate read on the quality of your life. That's massive. That's huge. Uh, in fact, I was recently looking at considering an Apple um, watch for this function to be able to track blood oxygen levels. Um, but the latest Apple watch, I think it's Apple 7, didn't really have wasn't that big of an announcement, wasn't that big of an advancement. I was like, oh, maybe I'll wait for eight. But yeah, it's something I've always wanted to see, uh, especially if you're worried about sleep apnea or just seeing um, what else is going on when you sleep. So that's really, really cool. That's a that's a big feature. Pretty neat uh, with the 24-7 heart rate monitoring and the blood oxygen levels uh, and obviously some improved sensors in there. So Look, if you're if you're someone that's recently purchased Noring, maybe the second gen one, you may not you may be like, oh, I might just wait. Uh, if you've had your second one for a while and you're happy to spend a couple hundred bucks, then yeah, this is going to be a nice improvement. If you haven't bought Noring and you've been waiting for some of these features, well, you know now's the time. So I'm actually going to go in and pre-order this myself. Uh, how much is it? Three hundred US. So it's the same price. Uh, I'll probably just I think last time I got Stealth, but I remember saying I wouldn't do that again because doesn't really matter so i'll probably just get the black one again uh what's this membership oh is that for the meditation stuff oh here we go this is new alongside the new ring we're shifting to an aura membership program that grants full access to the app helps us invest back in our science and technology oh, i can't even click it i so i don't i don't get it alongside the new ring we're shifting to an aura ring membership program that grants full access to that so i know like with biostrap you can get membership uh i've done reviews on the biostrap where like you've got to be a member to get like some of the advanced sleep tracking and all that sort of stuff. So 
Uh, this is something I know ages ago I thought they were going to do, like, years and years ago I thought they'd move into because, like, once you get a sale with the Aura Ring from a business point of view, like, you get the money and then that's it, right? Um, so membership obviously brings in more more cash for them. So, yeah, it, it's just weird. It doesn't really explain much about it. Like, you get six months free, so everyone's going to get it to start. Yeah, I'm going to go and place this order now. Shipping in November the 15th. As soon as that arrives, what I'll do is a first, first impressions video. Uh, we'll see if the app's been updated. We'll take a better look at that membership function. In the meantime, what I might do is see if I can get um, a call schedule with someone from Aura just to go through some of these new features. That'd be pretty neat. So be sure to subscribe uh, if you want to learn or if you want to be the first to hear about uh, my thoughts on the Aura ring. Um, and yeah, if you know anything else about it, please leave your comments below. If you, and I'm curious to see if, if these new features um, justify an upgrade for you. I know um, the prices stay the same, but it's still 300 bucks. It's a lot of money for a wearable, right? Um, you know, what are your thoughts? Are you going to upgrade or, or have you been sitting on the sidelines waiting for, you know, the 24-7 heart rate monitoring or blood oxygen levels, for instance, blood oxygen tracking? Yeah, curious to see what your thoughts are to this and your reactions. Uh, leave your comments below. Be sure to hit subscribe and um, we'll speak to you soon. All right, guys, bye.